We're back at the Hawthorns for the final time in 2023 as West Bromwich Albion take on Leeds United live on Sky Sports. It's fifth versus fourth and I tell you what, there's been some incredible games between these two sides in recent years. It's a sold out Hawthorns and I tell you what, the atmosphere should be quality tonight. Uh, one of my favourite games ever here at the Hawthorns was a couple of years back when we beat Leeds United 4-1. What a team we had back then, the likes of Dwight Gale, Jay Rodriguez, Harvey Barnes, Kieran Gibbs. Leeds United have also scored their fair share of goals against the Baggies in recent years as well. Leeds United have had a fair start to their season after getting relegated from the Premier League last season. However, something they've been struggling with all season is their away form. It could honestly go either way tonight, but I, I do wish everyone a happy and healthy new year. Hopefully the Baggies can get all three points this evening. Tonight, Albion will pay tribute to all the Albion fans and people connected with the club who have sadly passed away in 2023. My own uncle Peter will be on the big screen this evening uh, as he sadly passed away this year. He's a big Albion fan and a season ticket holder. So I'm here with George, recognising West Brom yeah. fan TV. Uh, what's your score prediction tonight? Um, I'm going for a 1-0 win tonight. Usually I'm a bit boring, usually I say a 1-1 draw, but I've got, I've got a feeling, I don't know why, you know, Leeds been a bit ropey, obviously, losing out on the keeper and that. Um, and obviously, they're coming with all that quality. They're probably going to be maybe a little bit overconfident in a way, thinking they're going to beat us. And I think that, yeah, why not? Why, why wouldn't we get a win? I, I must ask you as well, um, last game of the, the calendar year, how, how, how would you say the, the year's gone for the Albion? Um, gone really well to be fair considering behind the scenes Carlos has done the best he can the players are all playing really well to be honest maybe away from home we could do a little bit better but on the whole it's been pretty impressive really and obviously we've only lost two games here all season is that right yeah, yeah. Huddersfield and Leicester, Leicester. Yeah. that's it that's fantastic really can't really complain too much and hopefully when these new owners come in if they do then we'll progress even further so uh, here with Harvey, uh, got Leeds United tonight. Uh, what are you thinking? I feel there's a sense in the air that there's going to be a pretty big win for the Albion. Uh, I believe this is a game which will be fifth. Uh, I think Leeds are that way in the table, third or fourth. Uh, so if I'm sort of currently winning today, I'll probably be there in a minute. Um, yeah, but there's something in the air where I've got a feeling it's going to be similar to the game in 2019, just only less goals because obviously it's more of a difficult uh, Leeds United team. But I feel like 2-0 Albion is probably the right result in my own. Last game of the calendar year, uh, how do you think the year's gone for the Albion? Uh, the year for the Albion's gone pretty well. Uh, to say, like I said last time, based off last season, uh, it was a pretty rough start, 23rd in the league. And the start of this season, playoff spot already gives gives a little head start for the rest of the season. You know, we're halfway through. Is the other half of the season at the end going to be an extra two, three games in the playoffs, or will we stay down? <laughs> Tribute there for, from the Albion, top notch. Something that our club is very good at, with the Lords My Shepherd uh, playing in the background. Really well done. Uh, two news is out as well. Jason Malumbi comes in for John Swift. A bit of a shame. I thought Swift was outstanding um, on Boxing Day, but I have been calling for Jason Malumbi to start for a while, so I'm glad to see him in the team. Uh, Semi Ujai comes in for Carl Bartley as well. Other than that, it's a very strong Albion side.
go on. Time uh, 1 0 for the Albion, the super, superb half football from the Baggies, played really well. Uh, Gian Garner got the, ball, uh, got the goal, he's a really good team goal, brilliant ball in originally from Yukosu. But I've been really impressed with the Baggies, they're working really hard out there, they're pressing Leeds United. Uh, it's a typical Leeds side, up to all sorts of games. Uh, players go down injured when there's nothing wrong with them, all, all, all that sort of stuff. But Leeds United do look threatening, uh, they've had a few uh, big chances, it's all to play for in the second half. Brilliant atmosphere in the Hawthorns today as well. Hopefully we can hang on in the second half. Go on, Jed. Go on. Three changes for the Albion, looks like a change of system. Carl Bartley's come on. Looks like we've made with three centre backs now. Jed Wallace is going off as well. He's down injured for a, a, a bit of time, but hopefully he's alright. Adam Reach is coming on. First time since he's returned back from injury. About half an hour to go, still 1 0 Albion. Kip Ray back post. Go on, go on! Bobby Tyler! Sing yourself, yeah! 89 minutes on the clock, uh, still 1 0 Albion. We're defending really well. Five at the back now, just holding on. Leeds pushing for an equaliser. It's going to be a, a long additional time.
Right, so full time, 1-0 to the Albion. And wow, 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 what an evening that was at the Hawthorns. Uh, probably the best atmosphere we've seen at the Hawthorns since before COVID. And what a three points for the, for the Baggies. Those players on the pitch gave it absolutely everything tonight. And it must be said, Carlos Corbran got everything right. Uh, from his team selection to his substitutions. You know, the decision to play Semi Ajay to cope with Leeds United's um, pace up front was absolutely spot on. So was the decision to change the formation in the second half and bring on another centre-back to play five at the back to, uh, to help cope with Leeds United's uh, constant pressure as they tried to push for an equaliser. And it really was like the Leeds United players were running into a brick wall. The Albion defence was that strong at the end as they pushed for that equaliser. But yeah, yet again, I can't fault uh, any of the players. The standout players for me today, I thought Cedric Kipre and Semi Ajay were rock solid at the back. Yokoslu just in front of them. He's a madman, ain't he? But I, I tell you what, he's got to be one of the hardest players in this league. Another clean sheet for Alex Palmer. He's still kept the most clean sheets in the league. And Albion have now got a nice bit of distance between themselves and 7th place. But I tell you what, it's looking good at the Hawthorns at the moment. It feels like the whole club's coming together. You know, the fans are fully behind the team. Uh, the players are playing for the manager. And the feel-good factor is back around the Hawthorns. A really nice tribute from the Albion uh, before the game as well, remembering all of uh, the Albion fans and people connected with the club who have sadly passed away this year as well. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you are new. We've got another video coming out, um, depending on wh wh whenever t this video comes out, either today or tomorrow. I'll be doing a non-league video, so make sure to check that, that out as well. But I'll see you in the next one, guys.